we're going to see how we can type equations and do calculations in Excel. So in this problem here, we want to copy and paste this table. So we click and drag, and then we can right click copy, or we can do control C on our keyboards. And then here we can just paste our list. And now the question here is to see what the pattern is. The pattern here, we go from 1 to 9, that's plus 8. From 9 to 17 is plus 8, and so on. So this pattern here is to add 8. And to type the equation to Excel, what we're going to do is in, in cell F1, we want to type an equation in Excel. To type an equation, we always start with the equal sign. So here we type equals. And what we want to do is we want to add 8 to the previous term. So the previous term is 33. The way we do that is we look at the cell that 33 is in. So the way we say the cell is we say E, that's the column it's in, and then 1, that's the row that it's in. So we say E1, you can see it's highlighted here now because it's letting us know that we're using this cell here, E1. And what we want to do is we want to add 8. So we just do plus 8. And then we hit Enter. And then we see it adds 8 to that, which we get 41. So then next we want to do is we have this term called fill or fill dragging an equation. So there's different ways of highlighting things in Excel. We have this thick white cross here that's kind of big. And you can highlight a bunch of cells doing that with the white cross. But what we want to do is we want to tell Excel to continue this equation. So we have this little green box in the corner. You see when we hover over it, we get the thin black cross. So we want the thin black cross. We click and drag. We're just going to go two cells over to H. And you can see now what it did is it changed the cell that was referenced. So here if we double click, this is referencing cell E1. So that's that 33. So hit enter to get out of there. This one, if we double click here, it shows us it's referencing now. It, it slid over the reference, so we're doing cell F1 now. Hit enter to exit out of that cell, and then we double click here, and we can see that this is referencing cell G1 now. Hit enter. So that's what the click dragging or, or drag filling the equation does, is it moves the equation over and changes that reference cell. So we can do this for as far as we want, but here this question is only asking for the next three cells, F1, G1, and H1.